Joining us now is Dr. Emily Blumberg from the University of Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Are we experiencing an organ crisis nationally? And if so, what do we need to do? Every year there's over 100,000 people waiting for organs and there's additions on a weekly basis to that list and fewer people coming off the list. And so we're in this constant state of crisis trying to find organs for people in need. And these are people who have health crises that can kill them. And so they really need the help. There are a lot of reasons there aren't enough organs. Uh, for one thing, in the United States, organ donation is an opt-in, not an opt-out. For another thing, there are a lot of processes that make this more complicated in terms of optimizing the use of the organs, eliminating inefficiencies. But the way that ID people can contribute really is by trying to think of the safest use of organs for people who could transmit infections or might be considered a pool at, at risk for infectious diseases. And so we can help by considering how safe to make those organs. So you touched on it a little bit in terms of the role infectious disease um, doctors can play in this. What do they really need to focus on in terms of making those organs transferable to someone who needs them? Well, the first thing we need to do is understand the risk that an individual organ might convey. And so, for example, right now we're living in a world where we have a lot of deaths in the United States related to the opioid use epidemic. And there are many people who die of drug overdoses. And in some cases, those people are at increased risk for new infections with HIV or hepatitis C or hepatitis B. And so we need to understand as ID people how best to test these individuals and how to mitigate risk if they are infected. We also need to understand the risks that are associated with people being from other parts of the world where certain diseases are endemic, things like strongyloides. So we need to understand how to best assess donors for that and intervene on the recipient side if they get these organs. Let's talk a little bit about kidney transplants because you can have a living or deceased donor. So what's the plan to double the kidney transplant volumes by 2025, which isn't very far away? Yeah, yeah. The first is to bring living donation to the forefront and to make sure that people understand that it can be safe to be a donor. We also need to use technology to expand our ability to use donors, for example, somebody who has a cardiac death and then the organs may be salvageable still with that, so technology will be important. And we have to stop throwing away potential organs that are potentially discarded because people are concerned about infection risks. And so that's, again, where the ID team comes in. So we do have a part in this, but it's right. such a complicated process and there are so many barriers at every step of the way. All right, well, thank you so much, Dr. Blumberg. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank you.